What's up, world? Coach Brian Hurst here. The gloves are coming off. We're gonna train. It's Thursday, we're feeling good. So, today's practice, we are primarily using some kettlebells. Spend a couple minutes, uh, five to seven minutes, stretching, mobilizing your body how you know you need it. Then we're getting into our movement prep. It's a little faster pace today. We've got a Tabata style. So we're doing two different Tabatas. It's gonna be eight minutes of work. We're doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. First round of Tabatas, we are doing squats for 20. Next interval, you'll do a plank. Any plank variation, whether it's a high plank, a hard style plank, a single elbow plank, single arm plank, single arm, single leg, side plank, you get the idea. Uh, after your four minutes of work there, shake it out for about 30 seconds or so, and then set, start your second Tabata. This one we will be doing bird dogs and high knees or butt kicks. Those can be um, tied together, you can do both or you can stick to one. Bird dogs, you've got your options here, extending off to sit limbs, you can bring elbow to knee or you can come back to tabletop. I will suggest that you do one interval on one side and then the next time you come back to bird dogs, do the other side. When you're ready to really spice them up, find that hover crawl position and embrace the suck. Then you've got your high knees and or butt kickers. You can switch or just stick with one that you know suits you. Then we're going into our strength and conditioning. Today they are combined. We've got three different 10 minute AMRAPs. These are set up in a partner I go, you go. So now is a great day to get your housemate or your roommate or whomever call up your friend on Zoom and say, hey, I need a partner. This one's coming for you. So, round number one. I go, you go, we are starting with 10 kettlebell deadlifts. Owning the plank position. And really trying to keep that kettlebell uh, in the same spot when you pick it up and set it down. After 10 deadlifts, we're going into push-ups. Think quality push-ups here. So that shoulders and hips ascend and descend at the same rate. What we want to avoid is any uh, worm action where the shoulders come up first. So if 10 is too challenging, you can either raise the surface to you, whether it be a couch, countertop, a box, the wall, uh, or reduce reps so that you know you're getting good quality reps in there. Then our third movement is five and five baby rockers. So we're gonna roll and pull up to the elbow. We're do all five on one side, really trying to get into those obliques on the side that we're rolling to. After your 10 minutes is up, you'll rest for two before going into your second 10 minute AMRAP. This one here is going to be 10 kettlebell swings. Focus on your setup. Use that hip snap. Find that plank as fast as you can. After 10, we're going into five and five single arm rows. So a couple different options here. You can either nice modified sumo stance, rowing back towards the hip. You can be in a deep lunge position or a fun variation is a ballistic row. So you're switching at the top of the rep. Then we'll go into lap pullovers. Here, we want to keep our low back pressed into the floor. Front ribs stay tucked. That'll help keep your core engaged. Feet can be elevated or flat on the floor. And then we're pulling through our elbows, bringing it overhead. If you can't make it quite to the floor all the way without those ribs flaring, that's okay. Work with the range of motion that you have that allows your core to stay tight. After 10 minutes there, you're going to shake it off for another two minutes, and we're finishing out the practice with one more 10 minute AMRAP. This round, we've got five to five single arm front squats. You're going to clean it, get it into the rack position, adjust your stance if needed, and then five squats per side. If for any reason single arm rack position is agreeing with you today on that asymmetrical load, go ahead and find your goblet hold and do 10 squats. Make sure in the squats, Elbows are inside the knees. Then 
Your second movement is either a pull catch and press or clean and press. So you do 10 reps total. First option here with our pull catch, pull catch, press. Notice we're hinging, picking up and putting the bell down right where from where we pick it up. Other option, clean and press. Re-clean each rep for five per side. Last but not least, a little more core work. We've got five and five plank pull-throughs. So, firmly plant those hands on the floor, corkscrew the palms in so elbows are facing forward, or your elbow pits rather. A nice wide base, feet should be about twice as wide as your shoulders. We're gonna stabilize the hips, pull through, and make sure that we're placing our hand down right where we pick it up from. We have a tendency to walk out farther away or let our hips raise. Try to keep shoulders in line with your hips, hips in line with your heels, and keep your shoulders right over your wrists to help support the load. After five and five, 10 minutes, you're all done. Have fun. Tomorrow's Friday. Woo! We'll see you then.